I know, and, and you'd be surprised how much you can, I mean, if you really want to keep up on that type of popular culture so you can talk to people, you'd be surprised at how much just from reading. You know, I've read articles about films that I can talk about without ever having seen the film. You don't have to go watch a film and waste two hours of your life for something. I saw a film once by Khorasani, who won Cannes Film Festival. He's an Iranian. I think it was Khorasani. can't remember. I was interested just how why this film won the Cannes Film Festival. It was being made in Iran where apparently they have all this artistic censorship. But at the end of the film, they have an interview with him. You know, and the thing about the film is it almost put me to sleep. And at the end of the film, he says, um, they ask him, what kind of film do you like? He said, I like films that put people to sleep. <laughs> but then they can't stop thinking about them after that. He said, think about American films, you go watch it for two hours and you're at the edge of your seat and you walk out the theater and you can't remember anything. <laughs> like, what was it about? Because it's all spectacle. There's no thought. And then they asked him about censorship and he said, every artist is censored. It's just, where do you draw the lines of censorship? There's no artist that's free of censorship. He said, Americans have censorship. I mean, there's things that they can't go beyond. Simple as that. He said, in Iran, we're basically not allowed to deal with two things, sex and violence. And it forces us to create films that actually are intelligent. And he said, when Hollywood was not allowed to use sex and violence, they actually made intelligent films. He said, now the films are all stupid. And the reason is because it's all gratuitous spectacle. It's just stimulating people's lower energies. That's all it is, because people respond to violence. You know, it's very intense to watch violence. And so there's adrenaline and Adrenaline's a drug. It's a really powerful drug. People get addicted to it. Adrenaline junkies. Romans used to go watch Christians eaten by the lions. We do the same thing when we go watch these Arnold Schwarzenegger films of people getting their heads blown off. It's sanitized. But it's the same gore. I mean, it's a human thing. And, and that we see the Romans as decadent and well, it's, why don't we see it about ourselves? That's all decadence. That's what it is. It's vulgarity. It's decadence. And the thing about it is thresholds get higher and higher. So you need more stimulation. You need more violence. You need more, the sexuality becomes more perverse. That's what happens in uh, something intelligent. I mean, film has immense potential because it's a very powerful medium, but it's a medium of spectacle. You know, you never want to be in a theater when there's an earthquake or something. You just, how, how do you justify that with God? You know, he's watching a movie when you died or something. The reason Plato outlawed the poets in the Republic is because of the whole danger of entertainment, what entertainment does in a society. Images and, and the Prophet him, he had some entertainment and that's something about Islam that a lot of modern Muslims aren't aware of. That there is room for art, there is room for poetry, there is room for certain types of music and things like that. And traditionally it always existed in the Muslim world but it should be done in a certain way and it shouldn't become something that takes people away from God. Yeah, I think we need to rethink a lot of things and just be more creative about how to speak to people out there. And